Youth, you represent 50% of St. Lucia's population. Watch and share this video now so all of our island's residents know what they can do to protect it from the impacts of climate change. The task is simple. Make it your drama. Discuss climate change with your friends, family members, your teachers. Share tips and encourage one another at home, at school, in your community. Teachers, we count on you to inform your students. Climate change and environmental education is key. For instance, discuss how our tourism and agricultural sectors can contribute to the fight against climate change and how this can help our country promote a sustainable tourism and agriculture model and create jobs. Share ideas on how renewable energy and energy efficiency practices can make our environment clean and green. Read about climate change. There is so much to learn. Did you know that over 50% of our coral is already bleached? Did you know how drought is impacting our farmers? Climate change will only make things worse. Learn about how to tackle these problems. And of course, take action. Think of dengue. If you do your part by clearing stagnant water, we can eradicate it together. Rewarding, isn't it? You can also join tree planting campaigns or gardening activities at your school to protect both our environment and your health. Think of all the other little practical things you can do on a daily basis, such as reducing, recycling, reusing, and repurposing, which will help you save a lot of money. Most importantly, we must leave no one behind. Find out how you can help the most vulnerable, in particular the elderly and people living with disabilities who face specific challenges in terms of mobility or accessing information. Good news! Our government is leading the way. It is committed to mitigate climate change, that is, to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. The target of our NDC is to reduce emissions in the energy sector by 7% by 2030 relative to 2010 to continue as well as expand the efforts from the first NDC. Quite ambitious. Think of it in terms of ending air and noise pollution as we introduce electric vehicles. Also, we will use less fossil fuel based electricity in our schools as we use more solar energy. The government is also acting fast on adaptation to protect us all from the impacts of climate change. Get involved. We have plans to save our water, protect our agriculture, fisheries, and our ecosystems. More sectoral plans are to be developed to help protect our tourism, our built infrastructure, our education, and health systems. The government is committed to protecting our forests. It is also working on saving the Makote mangrove and other vital ecosystems. We residents, must support such efforts. There is also a plan to assist the most vulnerable individuals and households to recover from extreme weather events such as hurricanes. The cost of inaction is immense. This cost will be amplified by the long-term impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has had disrupting effects on our small island developing states' economies across the Caribbean. So no time to waste. Let's make the drama a success together. Let's discuss, read and act to mitigate climate change and to focus on adaptation to protect our lives and livelihoods. Our future and the future of our children depend on it.